So if you have a vehicle and the coolant level is low and there's no visible leaks, you add some coolant in, then a little while later you go to check and it's low again, but you still don't see any leaks anywhere. I thought I'd go over some causes of this and how you go about trying to find out where the leak's at. And so what would be some possible causes? Well, the radiator cap is going to be the most common cause of this. It might have just failed, it just gone bad, it just needed to be replaced. Also keep in mind that if the radiator cap was replaced with the wrong cap, then that can also cause issues. Every vehicle coolant system is going to have a different pressure. It's rated to run at, and the radiator cap is going to need to match this. It can be labeled differently, like PSI or even like pounds or something like that. So if you do replace that radiator cap, be sure it's an OEM radiator cap that's made for that vehicle. But the first thing that can cause this, and very common, is going to be the radiator cap. The next thing that can cause low coolant, but you don't see no leaks, is going to be that there's a blowing head gasket. And very commonly, when there's a blowing head gasket, the coolant will get inside the oil. So if you go and check the oil, like at the oil fill cap, or on the dipstick, and it looks milky, or you can see that it has coolant inside of it, then that's a common sign of a blowing head gasket. Another common sign of a blowing head gasket is that you have white smoke coming out the exhaust. So if those things are happening, then you likely have a blown head gasket. You can also have a leak that's hard to see that dries up and it's just hard to spot for some reason. Usually coolant leaks are easy to see. You'll be able to see it splattered around and things like this, but sometimes it can be hard to spot. If you think you do have this type of leak where it's drying up and you just can't see it, there's different ways you go about trying to find this type of leak. There's coolant dyes that you add to the coolant and it'll make it very visible where the leak location is. I'll jump over on eBay real fast just to give you an idea what it looks like. It's just basically dye that gets added to the coolant and then wherever it comes out it makes it very visible that there is a leak or where the leak would be located. This is just one method to find very hard to find leaks. But the next possible cause is that there's a leak but it's just really hard to see and it's drying up and it's just not visible. Another thing that might cause this, although not too common, is that the wrong coolant mixture is being used inside the engine. Most of the time, most vehicles are going to use a 50-50 coolant mixture. Of course, it depends on the temperature. If you live in a very cold environment, then this ratio could change. But keep in mind, the pressure is going to change depending on how much coolant is used compared to water. The boiling pressure is going to increase or decrease depending on the mixture. And this can have an effect on the radiator cap when it opens or closes because it does have a set pressure rating when it's going to start releasing pressure. And so while this isn't too common because most mixtures are 50-50 mix, just keep in mind that the wrong coolant mixture can affect pressures which can affect when the radiator cap opens. The next possible cause is going to be that the heater core is leaking. This would be up inside of the vehicle, up underneath the dashboard, and the radiator fluid is flowing through the heater core, and this is what heats the vehicle when the weather's cold. Usually if the heater core is leaking, you're going to smell like coolant inside of the air. It's very common to smell it, and usually you will be able to see it inside of there somewhere. Quite often you'll see the coolant coming down on the floorboards, and when it does leak down there, it could cause discolorization type of things and things like this. But the next thing is going to be a leaky heater core. And so how would you go about trying to find a leak? Well, the first thing is be sure that that radiator cap is good. And if you do replace it, be sure it's the correct OEM unit. You can also pressure test the radiator or the whole coolant system. You can get one of these pressure testers and you basically just pressurize the system. And if it loses pressure, then you know there's an issue. And as I was showing earlier, you can use coolant dye. And when you do that, you pour the dye into the coolant. And then wherever it comes out, the dye is going to make it very visible. And so that's another method to try to find a hard spot leak. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over some of the causes of why coolant would be low, but you don't see any leaks. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.